Hi, are you wondering how you can do an estate sale online during shelter in place? Who knew? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about today. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Silicon Valley. What a day we have today. I specialize in selling houses and a lot of times I'm helping people that have inherited a property or an elderly loved one needs to move into assisted living and we have to get rid of everything in the house. Um, and we do estate sales. I help facilitate them. And so during shelter in place, it's been a bit of a challenge. We were not able to do on-site estate sales. I do know every once in a while, I'll see people in a neighborhood with little garage sales and whatnot. Um, but when you're really trying to get rid of the whole house of stuff, what do you do when you can't have that big estate sale, you know, on over a weekend? So today I'm going to talk about um, two options for online estate sales. So stick around to the end because I will be able to give you the contact information for these places. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the differences. So the first company I've used other times. I've talked about them in other videos I've done about estate sales online. Um, and they usually bring in a crew, itemize everything, take pictures of everything, you know, do kind of all the legwork. But now, right now during shelter in place, they can't do that. And we don't know how long this is going to go on for. So they have provided a seller managed online estate sale. So what does that mean? It means you have to do all the pictures. You do have a lot more legwork, um, but it's still a fantastic option. Today I'm casual, I'm in my ponytail because I'm about to go meet them and um, the attorney who is helping with this estate and we are going to be doing all the pictures, putting things in you know groups so we can sell it online. So that's what I do too. I'm a little bit more than your average realtor. But, so what does that cost? It costs $300 and what does that give to you? It gets you basically their platform that you upload your pictures to. They have a lot of helpful tips, how to take the pictures. Um, they help with pricing and a lot of times with online sales, you do price things very low and try and get a bidding war going. So it's an easy system to use. It's not much different than using, say, something like OfferUp or LetGo or even just posting on Craigslist. Um, you have your picture, a little description, and the price. Then you set a day to go live, and typically most of the online sales run for about 10 days. So how do you market that? Well, you can market it any way you want in terms of putting, you know, advertising on Craigslist, Facebook, Nextdoor, but the company themselves, they also have a huge database. They've been doing this for years. The company actually is all over North America, so they have a lot of marketing experience. And they have a database of people within, I think it's a hundred mile radius that have been buying from them uh, in previous online sales. So they market it to them. And they also do Facebook ads. They do a lot of their own marketing. So you're really getting a big marketing engine behind you for this online sale. And there's a date for the pickup. So when people bid on an item, they actually see what day the pickup will be. So they know that they'll be available because they have to come get it. And it's just kind of a seamless online. You can check the progress. Oh gosh, an item is getting bid up. It's super fun. And uh, and then the, uh, the auction closes on a certain day. And you know it's usually within a day or two people, you have to go back, be present when people come to pick up their items. Usually we time block things. So certain items, you know, the pickup is from like 10 to 11. And then other items are from 11 to 12. It helps cut back on the congestion and the traffic in the neighborhood. But it's a great option. So it's $300 or 10% of the over, overall sales, whichever is more. So if you make more than $3,000, you're going to be paying a little bit more. But still very affordable option. And people are really getting kind of more comfortable with the online sales. So a lot more people are bidding on these things. So that's option number one. Option number two is a local company that I used to work with that does estate sales, you know, in person. Um, they'll do the whole weekend thing. And, you know, they were kind of costly, to be honest with you. Their prices are a little bit higher um, than the first option, but they are definitely more specific. So they have an online uh, auction site platform that they use, but they come through and do a consultation on what items you have. And so if you have things that actually they know will sell pretty well on eBay and get a higher price, they'll decide, okay, we're gonna sell those on eBay. 
you have some designer clothing, handbags, um, shoes that might do well on Poshmark, they'll post them on Poshmark. Uh, and so they really kind of customize each estate sale specifically for your needs. So if it's kind of a general, a lot of stuff is old, maybe you just put everything on their online platform. They take a percentage and they do have a fee for coming out and because they will take pictures for you, they'll itemize things. So again, it is more, but if you don't have the time, energy, or inclination to do it yourself, as in the first uh, option, it's a great option. And um, so I've used them before. So I love it. I mean, shelter in place and this COVID has had a lot of negative, but Honestly, I'm seeing some bright spots and this is one of them because you have a bigger reach uh, to get people online buying things they can live, like upwards of 100 miles away, be able to peruse the online auctions and then just know they have to come pick up items. So sometimes you're getting a better price than just kind of your typical weekend garage sale, estate sale. So now you're curious, what are these companies? And I am happy to share that information. Go to my website, the resources tab, scroll down and there's a tab for estate sale resources. And there you go. I get that information to you right away. So thanks for bearing with me a little casual today, casual Friday, although it's not Friday. Beautiful day, I'm loving it. And I am off to help a client. I am happy to help you with anything you need. So never hesitate to reach out. If you ever wanna know the value of your house, I always have a link below for that. If you wanna know how to get a cash offer for your house, a quick sale, I have another link for that below as well. Again, my name's Annie Baker and I look forward to meeting you sometime soon. Until then, have a great one.